Tonight, we're focusing on public will and action. In a poll commissioned by CBC News, 4,500 Canadians who agreed to participate in online polls were asked about their views on climate change. For many, it is clearly important. In fact, 19% say climate change is the issue that worries them the most. And 65% say Canada isn't doing enough to fight it. But when it comes to paying more taxes for the effort, well, there's some reluctance. 17% are willing to pay no more than 100 bucks a year. That's less than a Netflix subscription. 32% of respondents don't want to pay anything at all. A note on the data, a sampling error can't be calculated for this kind of poll. So Canada remains committed to the Paris Agreement, making major reductions to carbon emissions by 2030. The carbon tax, part of that overall effort. But Connie Walker shows us that most solutions you've heard of, from carbon taxes to electric cars to solar and wind, just won't be enough. Barry and Hermine Steinberg are in the market for an electric vehicle. It's on. The engine's so quiet. The Steinbergs say climate change convinced them to go green. Yeah, I think all governments have to get far more aggressive about addressing climate change. The federal government's plan to lower emissions is laid out in its pan-Canadian framework. It includes a carbon tax, rebates for electric vehicles, and bigger investments in renewable energy. But even with those changes, government estimates show Canada won't reach the 2030 targets. So what would it take for Canada to reach its Paris goals? And that's right. We asked Navius Research in Vancouver for help. They use climate modeling to test how different policies affect emissions. We're going to fall short. Jotham so Peters is Navius's director. So we asked you to take a look at electric vehicles. Yeah. What if by 2030, 100% of the vehicles sold in Canada were electric? Yeah. How much would that close the gap? So we saw that closing the gap in the range of around 12 million tons. So we're still short about 100 million tons. Right now, about 80% of our electricity comes from renewable or nuclear energy. What if we took that even further and increased the carbon tax? If by 2030 our electricity grid produced zero emissions and the carbon tax continued to go up by $10 per year, even combined would still fall short by 30 megatons. In order for Canada to achieve its Paris commitment, it would either have to continue or in increase its stringency for the policy that is already implemented, um, or it would have to implement new policies on sectors that we have not directly targeted um, for emissions reductions. The oil and gas industry is responsible for a quarter of Canada's total emissions. Policies like a stricter clean fuel standard would lower emissions in buildings, the transportation industry and the oil and gas sector and would be more than enough to close the gap. All of these possible scenarios would have ripple effects on industry and the economy. Meeting Canada's Paris targets depends on just how far people and governments are willing to go. Connie Walker, CBC News, Toronto.